Hello everyone, or hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. In this episode, we are going to be going on to the third course in this main area of the dungeon. We already completed Lethal Lava Land in the last course, in the last video, rather, and in this level, video, why do I keep saying level and course instead of video? Either way, we're going into the wall here. Course 8, Shifting Sandland. In the Talent of the Big Bird. Alright, so this level is actually, in my opinion, much, much more dangerous than Lethal Lava Land. For one thing, we've got Fly Guys here. For another thing, we've got Pokies. Uh, and, but the biggest threat is the Goombas. No, actually, it's not the Goombas. It's the Quicksand. You'd think that for a desert, there'd be a lot, there wouldn't be enough moisture to create Quicksand. But there is. All of these swirls here that you see on the ground, each one of those is actually quicksand. If you move to the middle of them, you're drowned. You're dead. And this darker brown sand out there, yeah, that's super quicksand. You move into that, you're dead. And these guys right here, they'll crush you. Three hits from them, and you're dead. Watch out! Don't let yourself get swallowed by quicksand. If you sink into the sand, you won't be able to jump, and if your head goes under, you'll be smothered. The dark areas are bottomless pits. Yep, just like I just said. Fortunately, though, there's a couple of tricks that you can do to get through this level without all that much trouble. Number one of which is if you stay on that corner there and uh, hook jump up here, you can you have your choice of transportation. You have a red block there and a gold block here, which is, in fact, a shell. So which do you want? Hmm. Well, since this is in the talents of the big bird, let's go ahead and use our wing cap because obviously a bird's going to be in the air. There he is. They call this the Condor. One of the most annoying NPCs in this game. Not for the fact that he has a star at this point, but he's attracted to shiny magical things. So, if once we knock him out, we can take the Power Star from him. The Power Star lands over here on the other side of the big pyramid. We can just grab it. Now you might say, what's so annoying about that bird, aside from the fact that you had to actually go up and get the Power Star from him? Well, that's a good question, actually, because that it's in itself wouldn't be that annoying. The problem is what he does with every star from then on. Shining atop the pyramid. Alright, now this is another level that it's like Lethal Lava Land. It's fairly easy to cheese this level if you're good, but... It's also very dangerous, much more dangerous than Lethal Lava Land, because in Lethal Lava Land, all you'll do is suffer three life worth of damage if you mess up, but in this course, if you mess up and miss your platform, you miss your jump, you'll die, because the quicksand, both in the darker area over there and around the pyramid itself, is insta-death. So, instead of doing what they want us to do, we're going to try to use the shell. And I'll show you guys a little bit more of this level. So, we kind of skipped it over. We can jump this, head over this way. We're going to be seeing most of this when we go to collect the eight red coins. But, you can see there's an oasis back here. And the condor is back. He doesn't leave after we take his star, no. He's actually after us now, instead of just uh, kind of flying around at random. He's actually after Mario. And we can use the shell to slide up the side of the pyramid here and get our star. You're supposed to scale the pyramid, but it's actually much, much more dangerous to do that than to use the shell. So, ever since I figured out that you can use the shell to climb the sides of the pyramid, that's what I've always done. Inside the ancient pyramid. All right, so unlike Lethal Lava Land, where you have to actually wait until the fifth star to actually go into the world within a world that this level has, in this one, you're going there as of the third star. So again, we're going to use one of our easy mode transportations to get around to the back side of the pyramid, because that's where the entrance to the pyramid is, is right over here. We're actually coming into the pyramid itself for three stars. And there's a lot to do in here. There's around 40 coins or so in the pyramid itself. So you're going to want to collect between 70 and, just like Lethal Lava Land, you're going to want to collect around 70 or 80 before you actually come in here. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can go to get up. Basically, our goal is to get up to the top of the pyramid. 
You can hop on those uh, chummy mummy blocks. I don't even know what they're actually called. But they're basically thwomps ramped in bandages. They act exactly the same way. Oh, that was cool. I don't even know how I did that. But you can kind of scurry across here. There's a lot. There's a... I almost said lava flume. It's a sand flume with some coins in it that's going to become important to us later on. And you can hear there's kind of rumbling sounds, there's slamming sounds, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on in this pyramid. There's a lot of coins here, so it's not as big of a worry to come in here as it was to go into the volcano in Lethal Lava Land. There were only about 20 coins in there in Lethal Lava Land. And then you got this bad boy here likes to roll you over, but you can just hide in this little alcove here and wait for him to go past. Or you can just triple jump over him if you're good enough. Alright, so here we've got a heart just in case you take damage. That's the thing, even though this area, the pyramid itself, is there's a lot of things here for that are dangerous to you. The floor in the middle is all quicksands. Ooh, sparks. Or amps. I believe they're called amps. The, the middle area is all quicksand, but it's very slow quicksand. It's very possible to get yourself out of it just by jumping and running to the side. Also, there's lots of hearts and coins around that'll help you keep from taking too much damage. And then this guy... The star is right over here on the other side of him. So we can just jump up on top and let him carry us over there. There's also this cage up here in the middle that we can't get to. There's nothing for us to do there quite yet. That's for a later star. And for some reason, this slope gives Mario traction trouble. I guess it must be the paved cobblestone. It's not easy to navigate it in loafers. We grab our star. Here we go! Inside the ancient pyramid, complete. I'm actually doing better at this level than I thought I was, and now that I just jinxed myself, I'm sure to die quite a lot when I go to do the 100 coins in this level. Stand tall on the four pillars! This level, actually, I find has a really interesting story to it. Not necessarily in-game story, but an actual out-of-game story related to my experiences with this game in the past. Back when I was a kid, we bought the Prima Strategy Guide for this game because there were some stars that we didn't know how to get. This star was so blatantly wrong in their description for it that even us, who bought the game thinking that they'd know more than we did, and hoped to get their advice, knew better. Basically, stand tall on the four pillars means that you have to take the shell or the wing cap or even just run up to the top of each one of these four pillars, which for some reason Mario can run up the side of. And if you're riding the shell, you can just sit on top of them for a second and then ride off. But if you're using the wing cap or just running on with Mario's feet, you have to slam the pillar. And for some reason, not all of them worked. I think... Which one, which one was it that I missed? Basically, if you do it to all four of them, something happens. There we go. The pyramid explodes! Now exactly why that happens is probably directly relatable to the power of the stars as well as a curse that was laid on this pyramid by its original denizens or original builders. Now to get up to the top of the pyramid is a little bit trickier than it seems. We could use the shell to get up there, but since we don't have the shell anymore, we're going to have to use another means. Get away from us. So the condor, I didn't really explain what the condor is doing here um, before, but basically the condor, what the condor's job is, he's going to try to steal your hat. But since we're wearing the wing cap, he can't take it from us. So let's just jump in the oasis real quick, refill our life. And... Mr. Ripper Bomb. Hi, I'll be the cannon for you. The cannon's way over there in the other corner of the level. Past those slam blocks with the with the faces and everything. But um It's the easiest way to get inside the pyramid because it gives us a lot more height with our wing cap than we would have gotten otherwise. Thankfully, they also give us another wing cap right over here, so we don't have to worry about our current one running out while we're in midair. Here we go. But yeah, if the condor attacks you and knocks you over while you're just regular Mario without using the wing cap, he'll steal your hat. And when you have your hat missing, you'll take more damage from enemy attacks. You'll lose... Um, you'll take more damage from enemy attacks. You'll... 
your... And I can't remember what else. There's a couple of other things that happen with it. But anyway, like I said, the Prima Guide actually didn't know that you could do stand on the four pillars and ride the cage down to get to this area here. Even though the, it's right in the name of the star itself. Their suggestion was to get up on top of this structure here with the bricks, which you can fall down from above, and then try to drop into the hole by grabbing the edge of it. Which is so hard that even when we tried to do it the way that they said to do it, we couldn't get it. This is the way that you're supposed to do it is so much easier. I have no idea how they didn't figure that out. It's amazing. This goes to show you, Prima Guides, never, ever buy them. What do we got here? Looks like an altar of some sort and a gigantic room with nothing else in it. Let's try to see what's up. Oh boy! Who walk here? Who breaks here? Wake ancient ones! We know like light. Mm. We know like intruders. Now battle. Hand to hand. Whoa! So this is actually one of the final in-level bosses of this game. There are only a few of them. Obviously, we faced off against the King Babam, the Big Womp, Big Boo. We faced off against the Bully, the Big Bully in Lethal Lava Land. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that was close. Okay, so yeah, your biggest... Your biggest threat here isn't necessarily being crushed by these guys, even though that is a threat. Your the biggest threat is being pushed off, or pushed or falling off of the sides of the platforms because that is it's very possible for that to happen. You want to try to aim for the eyes. Basically, this is like the Andros fight in Star Fox 64. Aim for the center of the hand. That's the only vulnerable spot they've got. And in the second phase, he'll try to push you off, but easily killed. Mm. What happened? We crushed like pebble. You so strong. You rule ancient pyramid for today. Now take star of power. We sleep darkness. So yes, apparently Bowser infiltrated this world and corrupted the the guardian of the pyramid with the power of with the power of the stars and then let him guard it obviously the star as as well as the world itself making the quicksand and everything to make it even more deadly for mario so my guess is that this is probably the ancient tomb of some mushroom king um you know in paper mario they have the whole desert area and everything else like that this might be this universe's version of that because i'm not entirely sure if paper mario takes place in the same universe as this game whatever the case we got our star Stand tall on the four pillars. Prima Guide or no, we've got the star. So let's go on into the next level again and see what we got. Free flying for eight red coins. Red coin mission. Yep, this one is a tricky one. There we go. That was pretty well done. So you, you want to use your wing cap. Um, you want to focus on using the pillars for height because you're going to have to be flying around this level a few times. There's red coins in pretty much all corners of this main area. These tornadoes are annoying. They just kind of fling you up in the air like this. They're not really all that helpful because you can't fly out of a fling. You basically got to get down to the ground, then run up the pillar again. But yeah, you want to use the pillars for height, swoop down, grab your coins, um, there are actually coins, like I said, they're in all corners of this level. There's one over here. Let me... I'm just running at this very slack dash. Let me go back. Try this again. So there's one there under the awning gazebo thing. Then there's one over... Way the heck over here at the very edge of the level. Which is actually harder than it looks to get because if you fall off the left side here, you're dead. This is insta-kill quicksand. 
and the wall there is slanted so that you can slide right off of it into the sand. Okay, and then you can actually use this crazy block to jump over the dunes there and get to the pyramid a lot faster, but I'm not going to do that. Whoop. Alright, so let's try this again. Okay. You can't hook jump up to the platform in every part of it. Um, it's just just tall enough that you can it won't let you, but since there's a dune around on this other side, you can over there, but that's the only place you can. You want to fly over here where the cannon is so we can get enough height. Because again, Mario's ma -ma 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 Mario's why am I why am I saying ma -ma -ma -ma? But yeah, Mario's flying is very much momentum based. So that if we get some speed up, it allows us to keep our height longer. So we can stay in the air longer and everything. And I'm covering the fact that I'm messing up at grabbing those coins in midair by going and get here and grabbing another coin in the oasis. Now there is a nice little warp that you can take if you stand by the palm tree here. I think it, you can do that. Yep, here it is. That takes you right back over here to the other corner of the level where the wing cap and the cannon are. And let's see, there's one last red coin right here. That's all the ones that are on the ground. All the rest of the red coins are up in the air. So you're going to want to... Ugh, I hate this place. I hate this part of the level since it's so, it's so easy to die. Yeah, so you want to focus on... Getting the ones on the ground first, and then go get the ones in the air, or perhaps go get the ones in the air first, since these are a little bit trickier. But it depends. It depends on what you're better at: flying or navigating this level. Which, since this level is so easy to die in, I usually get the ones in the air first. But since I'm doing so badly, I got the ones on the ground first. Just because. So yeah, like I said, once you, if you use the cannon to build up speed, um, it's you can get all four coins in one pass. And then the star appears way back on that uh, structure on the other side there. You can use this crazy block to get back over there. Or you can just come back over here. Let the tornado fling you upwards and over this fence. There we go. The tornadoes appear roughly in the same place all the time. They're not... They're annoying, but they're not dangerous because they'll they, they'll genuinely they can even save you sometimes from falling into the quicksand. Too. So you want to try to make friends, basically make friends, know where they are, and let them help you if you need help. Free flying for eight red coins. Done. So let's save and continue. And next up, we've got the hundred coin mission, I believe, or the one I'm going to use the hundred coin mission, pyramid puzzle. That's really cryptic. This is actually the hardest star in this level to get, but like I said, I'm going to be using this opportunity to get all 100 coins in this level, um, and I will be speeding up and playing music this time again, because I'm not going to make you watch me struggle through finishing this level again. Like that. That's why getting 100 coins in this level is so hard, because it's so easy to die. <sighs> all right. I'll see you guys in a minute after I collect all 100 coins. Be right back.
Oh, that is an epic pose, Mario. Epic pose. Look like an Olympian or something. So 100 coins, again, with ease. All right, but we're gonna wanna keep going, actually. Surprisingly enough, we wanna keep going all the way up to the top of the pyramid. Like I said before, this pyramid is not nearly as dangerous to climb as the volcano in Lethal Lava Land. Which is surprising, considering how much more dangerous the level itself is than Lethal Lava Land. But that's just, uh... Luck of the draw, I suppose. You don't want this guy to spin you off, which he will. So, just wait until he spins around, go around and grab him. Okay, so the star that we got before is up there, but you may have noticed this gap in the railing here when we got that star. If you look down... There's actually a little platform with a coin on it, right below us. Go ahead and drop. There we go, coin, or secret number one. Now what you want to do is you want to alternate sides of this uh, sandfall here. There's a coin, there's little platforms with coins on the way down. There's five secrets in total. I believe three of them are on these little platforms and the other two are in this lava flume, about relative to where these coins are. Yep. And then the last one should be right here. There it is. And there's our star appears at the end of the sand flume. I said lava flume before, didn't I? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Gotcha. All right, so 100 coins and the final star of Shifting Sandlands. Most excellent. All right, so you know what? We finished the three main courses down here in the basement, or the dungeon. And in the next episode, we're actually going to go back out into this outer area here of the basement. Where it's a bit nicer. And go through that star door, which we could open as soon as we had 30 stars. But, obviously, we didn't. So we're going to go do that now and go after Bowser for the second time. See you later, folks. Good night.